Okay, collective. Let's do one and find out what's going on between you and your twin flame. Oh, first card came out as a third party situation. Um, a three of cups. Now this could mean you're celebrating, you're having fun, enjoying yourself for some of you. This could mean it's someone in between your relationship. It could be a person, a place, or a thing. It could be a addiction. Okay. But um I feel like there's somebody who has your your twin flame has three feminine energies around them. These three feminine energies, they feel entitled. Or this could be you collective. You could have three friends around you. Um, you may have realized that they're not your friends and you don't want to talk to them. Somebody is at the nail shop. They could be, you could be um, an entrepreneur or something and you have three friends around you that feels like um, when you go to the nail shop, you should pay for their nails. This, if if you have if if you have um, your own business, these three people feel like they're entitled to whatever it is. They should have it. They should have access to it any time. If you sell clothes, they feel that. You should allow them to, to wear your clothes. And, and at one time, you could have been having them advertise and model some of your clothes. And these people, okay, let me be full. Let me get, let me get off into it. These three friends are users. And they secretly don't like you, okay? Yep. So you're not talking to them. Because some sort of deception came out. Yep, they thought they was going to be, you was going to be Ubering them everywhere. Yep, yep. You could drive for Uber. You may drive for one in Lyft or, you know, um, you may drive something for a living. Okay. Um, and, and, and this could also mean for somebody out there, you got three people around you that <laughs> thinks that you're supposed to be driving them everywhere. Taking them to go take care of their business. And now you're ignoring them. And they stand in there waiting mad. But you're not going to um, respond to them because whatever secrets it was they was doing, it came out. Okay. So tell me more about these three karmic. So these are three karmic energies around somebody, around your twin flame or you and your twin flame collective. Tell me about these three energies. You're ghosting them. Mm-hmm. Yep. The hermit. Also see the hermit and the chariot out here. And here comes the high hierophant. I'm teaching these motherfuckers a lesson. <laughs> By ghosting them. <laughs> yep. But see, you're a star. The star is out here. You are a star collective. You got something that everybody wants. These three people. Tell me about these three again. What what else? Yeah, you you got money. You could be a spiritual teacher. You could you could have your shit. You may not drive for Uber or nothing. You may have your own uh you may own a car business or something. And and these three people think you're supposed to give them a car. Or you could have given these people, you know, if you do. For those of you, if you do own some sort of business that has to, a car shop or something. Um, these people wanted you to be doing everything for free, giving them, giving them, giving them, and now you done ghosted they ass, you teaching them a lesson, um, you still shining out there, you could have moved, you could have sold your house and moved, 
Somebody did. Somebody sold their house and moved. <laughs> you ghosted these motherfuckers. They don't know where you at. Mm-hmm. Now, the moon could be you. You secretly moved. You secretly moved on their ass. You moved in silence. And now they standing there with their hands on their hips looking dumb like, where the fuck did the collective go? Where the fuck is the collective? And some of you, these were friends that you, you know, whatever business you have, if you female, you were, um, you know, you would treat these girls and you go to the nail shop. Um, you paying for everything because you got your own business and it's going good and everything. And it's like the minute you, you know, start telling them about this. That's That reminds me, you know, of a situation where somebody I grew up with and we went to school together. And this this man, he opened a, uh, a barbecue spot. And he opened a barbecue spot and, you know, all the homies came. Everybody came and they started hanging out in front of his building. To where it to to where it it made his his um uh, you know restaurant it it killed the vibe there. It was a lot of toxic low vibrational energies around his business. And these were his homies, right? But when he told them that people were putting on his reviews they're afraid to come there because of the activity that's going on when um, he told them that he didn't want them hanging out in the front they couldn't be sitting in front of his restaurant shooting dice and playing you know cards and all of that shit after he told them that do you know that man business died within three months he was out of business and, it, and he didn't go out of business because his food was bad. His food, his motherfucking barbecue was the bomb. He went out of business because those motherfuckers started evil eyeing him. Oh, he think he too good. We can't because they're not business oriented. So they were haters. And this is what's going on with somebody out there because they don't got no shit because their business is not together. They want to pull your shit down. So some of you, you know, this, this could be different, whoever you are. And if you're still watching, you either own property, you either, um, and this is for whoever's watching, whatever business this is, what I see out here, I see somebody who owns um, property, you could be in the real estate. You could own houses. Some of you, um, you 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 drive for a living. Some of you, somebody owns a clothing store or something. Some of you may, you know, um, you could be a nail a nail uh, technician. And it's I I see three females. This is women. Okay, so this could be your uh, twin flame. This could be you, you, divine feminine. If you up in here, it could be you with three females around you. And these three females, you ghosted them because they think that that you're supposed to do everything for them. Rather, as if if you own a clothing store, you're supposed to give them clothes. Rather, if it's if if you own a nail shop that you're supposed to keep doing their nails for free. If you drive for Uber, that you're supposed to be driving them everywhere. If you own own a property or something, they feel they can be late on their rent or they can skip months and all of this shit. Some of you could be a a, a spiritual teacher, a healer. And these people, you know, you could be any of these, any of these, but a spiritual healer at the same time. And these people could have been trying to take advantage you, be advantage of you because of that, because you're spiritual. They, you know, try to take your kindness for weakness because <laughs> they see that you got money. You're a star. Now you may be all of these, all you may all may be all that you may own your own property for the business that you've been doing. You may um, be a, a, a driver. 
But whatever the case may be, you done ghosted they motherfucking asses. You done ghosted them. And they standing there, three people standing there waiting like, so let's see, what are they waiting for? What are they waiting for, spirit? What are these three people waiting for? What are they waiting for? for you to show some love to them. And it's like, they, they, um, they, it's like one got her fucking arms folded or this is you. You got your arms folded like, hmm, I think not. They waiting for you to give them some sort of emotions. What are they waiting for? What else? What are they waiting for? They waiting for you to come back. Oh, and throw them some change. See? You're a business owner. Yep. They waiting for you to come and throw them some money. Because whatever it is, you it's, it's something to do with luxury. You could... You could own a luxury car business, luxury uh, limo business. Um, it could be successful. You could sell luxury clothing. You could work out here for the rich and famous for somebody. If that's you, put it in the comments for me. Okay? Tell me more, Spirit. And, and whatever business that you do, either some of you, you felt like these people were making you lose money. Um, some of you, 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 may, um, you may not have to work hard no more because you're successful already. So it's like whatever you probably do now, it could be you just doing it on because you're bored. You like doing it. Yeah, um, it's like doing it on your own time because you're already successful. And if you're successful, go on and, and donate to your girl, okay? But I see somebody very successful out here. You're a star, creative. You may have created your own business and you got these three motherfuckers secretly mad and hating. What are they hating for? What they mad for? Why are they mad though? Some of your friends may be, um, whoever these, one of them may be a, a, a blue collar worker. They mad because they don't have what you got. And you got 10 of cups. They mad about that. And they feel entitled to your shit. Whoever these karmics are, these are some karmic frenemies. And see, whoever they are, they don't want you to be in a relationship because your 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 person may give you a lot of uh what you call motivation not to let these people use you so they don't want you and your person together and with the two of cups in reverse with this these people is it's 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 you you're doing all the giving to them they not giving to you because they feel like you could afford it. Just like you work hard to get where you are, don't let these people work hard to take that away from you, baby. Hell no. Nah. That's why you ghosted them. <laughs> <clears throat> the devil is in reverse. 
The devil's in reverse. They mad though. Why they mad though? Why they mad? Put it in the comments if you know they mad. And I know somebody gonna say, yeah, they mad, but I don't give a fuck. You don't, do you? So yeah, um, somebody is dealing dealing with uh with someone evil, dark, possibly witchcraft energy. Trying to do some some these people they feel like your relationship and you may have you know the person you with your twin flame these these people they don't like him or her because this person like i said they motivate you not to fall for this bullshit they they probably oh this twin your twin flame illuminates you to see the see the things that these people are doing and they don't like them so they could be trying to throw some dark magic at you towards your relationship mm -hmm, with you and your twin flame now these could be three of your people or associates around you or it could be three associates around your person Somebody is a teacher, though. I see um, Taurus energy out here. I see Virgo energy out here. I see Cancer energy out here that's standing out. I see Aquarius energy out here. Yeah. And I see Pisces. Some secrets came out. And maybe your the person that you with, when when they started telling you about this, it opened your eyes. Now these people, these three, whoever these three individuals are, they sitting there mad with their arms folded and shit. It's like they want you to make a choice between them and your twin flame. And you like, the fuck? I chose my twin flame and maybe in the past you chose them over your twin flame and now your twin flame has opened your eyes to what they doing and they don't like that alright so I'm going to stop it right here if this reading resonated with you be sure to put it in the comments for me and um, if you're interested in purchasing one of my spiritual bath mixes or my t-shirts the information is in the description box below go ahead on and support your girl all right